John, I'm going to throw out just a question to just really wake everybody up. When are filmmakers going to face the fact that film festivals are pretty much a waste of time? They're archaic and the system is broken. Well, um, hmm, that's a complicated issue because I don't actually feel that film festivals are a waste of time. I actually feel that festivals could be actually very helpful and I think there's a role for festivals in the film world still. Um, so I think it's a, two, I would say it's a two-part question. First of all, I think for many film festivals, I mean, sorry, I'll start over. For many filmmakers, um, trying to sell their films at a film festival is probably a waste of time, okay? And thinking that that's the only way that they're going to release their films is through selling at a film festival. I think that is a waste of time and a waste of think is not proper thinking. Um, you know, just the numbers are that there's about, estimates range 35,000 to 45,000 feature films trying to be on the film festival circuit each year, okay? Of those, about 600 make it into the regular circuit, like are screened regularly. And if you see this festival circuit, a lot of films get repeated because there are some films that are quite good and people want to screen them a lot. So you've got 35 to 45,000, you've got 600. So of the 3,000 that apply to Sun Sundance, 200 get in. And then on a good year, you know, like there were some bad years where no films or three films sold at Sundance, okay, and then everyone's going, the sky is collapsed and, you know, and this is all bogus. Well, it's rebounded a little bit where there are, you know, 40 maybe to 60 films that end up with a deal that makes some kind of sense for them coming out of Sundance. But you have to look at it like there's five festivals like that in the world. Like this isn't even for those 600 film, films that end up on the circuit. Most of those don't even get distribution. So you end up with maybe in a good year, 50 to 100 films that end up with some kind of distribution that makes them happy and meets their goals, whether it's monetary or not, out of 35 to 45,000. So what I think filmmakers have to wake up to is that, and this is what I preach, and you know, and I, we preach at the IFP Filmmaker Labs, and you know, and Sherry, who's going to be on the show later, every you know, people in our world preach is that you cannot rely on the film festival system as the way to either distribute your film or to sell your film to gain distribution or to gain a profile to gain distribution. That is not, the, the odds of that happening for you are so slim that if that's what you're counting on, you're in total denial and you have to get out of it. So that's the, and so the, the, the second part of that is I feel that festivals can be very helpful as part of your release. You know, I feel that, for me, I break um, releases now into four categories. It used to be three categories, but for the new book coming out, it will be four categories. So the first category is live events theatrical, but I'm shortening that to events. Second is merchandise. Third is digital. And the fourth is immersive, interactive. Okay, so as part of the event part of your strategy, which I think is super important for any artist, and especially filmmakers, I think film, film festivals have a role there. You know, but not every film's a film festival film, not every film, but so you have to see every film, and I'll repeat this as another one of my mantras, that every film is different. You know, and, and it's gonna play in different festivals, it's not gonna play in festivals. You have to figure out for your specific film how film festivals are gonna fit for that film. And it's not, for the very rare few, it will be a sales opportunity. For, but for most, you have to think strategically, how is this gonna fit into the rest of my release? Because, and I'm sorry I'm just going on, but film, film festivals have a role because they're connected to people who love film. So if you, for instance, on the Joffrey film that we're doing now, if we don't have a screening in a particular city and there's a festival that says we want it to make you closing night, we want to do a bunch of promotion for you, well that's good for your film because every film needs to, you know, needs help finding an audience, I feel. You know, and if you can get some other organization to help you connect with your audience and it's not really costing you anything, why not? So fold that into your release. We've had to unfortunately turn down a number of festivals now because we're screening so much theatrically and non -the in events around the United States and sometimes, like for instance in Seattle, Seattle Film Festival wanted the film. Um, but we had a week-long run the week before the Seattle Film Festival and we said we're going to take the week-long run. A, we're going to make money from it and B, we'll probably get more promotion out of a week-long run in Seattle than we will from the Seattle Film Festival even though the Seattle Film Festival is very prestigious. Mm -hmm. On the flip side though, what we use to launch 
the release of the film was the Dance on Camera Film Festival at Lincoln Center in New York City because once we got into that and when I asked for opening night and we got opening night, it was like, okay, well this is the perfect event to launch the release of the film. We're not gonna, it's not a sales festival. We're not gonna make a sale out of that festival. But we can raise our profile in the world and we can create a larger event around the, those screenings. You know, it's opening night in the premier film festival related to our niche. And then what I did is, I, and this is something, and I'm going on and on, but um, we can talk about this in the interview um, with Sherry, is that then I went to Emerging Pictures, who simulcast films around the United States and has a cultivated ballet audience, and said, why don't we simulcast this and let's be the first film that's had its world, pre world premiere simulcast around the United States in as many theaters as we can get. And they said, great, so we use that festival to actually screen the film in 45 cities around the United States which is a very, which, you know, we potentially could have done without the festival, but the festival made it sexy for emerging to be part of that. It gave us something that no one had done before. And so that's why I'm saying you, every film has that opportunity to do something interesting with a festival, if it is a festival film, and if it's good enough, obviously. You know, there are some films that just won't make it on the festival circuit. But, um, but you know, if you're gonna get into festivals, there's things that you can do with those festivals to incorporate into your release that can result in a, that can be a smart that can result in smart and good things for denting the media landscape having your film help dent that media landscape which is what i think is important for all films to do when they kind of come out of the gate yes.